with a look at the weather. Hey, Dylan. Hey, good morning. It's uh, a little chilly. A little bit. Yes. Yesterday, bit. Uh, we had record-breaking lows all across the Northeast. That Arctic blast just pouring in that colder air from the north. And some of the lows that we saw yesterday, Springfield, Vermont, 15 degrees. The old record was 18, 23. Yesterday morning in Boston, the old record was 24. New York, 24 degrees. The old record was 28 degrees. Allentown, Pennsylvania, about 18 degrees yesterday morning. So currently, we're running still about 5 to 10 degrees below average. We are still looking at some scattered record low temperatures this morning. But as we go into this afternoon, we are going to see temps rebound back into the mid, even upper 40s. Washington, D.C., 48 won't feel so bad today. Let's look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. All right, Dylan and I are ready to whip through the highs and lows of the week. Off. See, he's got politics down, too. You know, they got to come together. We were divided during right? the campaign, but now it's time to come together for Tinton Falls. And he did it the old-fashioned way, just knocked on Knock it on every doors. door. And by the way, 93 years old. He looks great. Congratulations, <laughs> sir. Our first low. Some points for the landing, yeah. I guess. I've slipped getting out of a sand trap. I've yeah. never done the full-on back roll. I don't think so either, but That's they are, tough. you know, one side can be very steep, so you have to you sort of walk around. around. I like how many times we've been in them that we oh, have techniques for physically getting out of sand trap. trap. I live in the sand. I'm proud of that. Our next seeing that and again just love seeing Steve Scalise in the halls mm, of Congress. Huge God. smile on his face Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Our final low goes to the poor dog. Actually wins. Well you know on the learning curve does there come a moment where you go oh that's me or does that moment never come? I'm not sure. We'll have to see how this plays out. <laughs> we'll check out his Instagram handle. Coming up next a Sunday sit down with Michelle Pfeiffer. Now with another look at the weather. Hey Dill. I just watched Wonder Woman. How great is that movie? I can see what all the hype was about. Yeah, it is. It was it's a for real. good, good movie. Let's take a look at what we can expect this week. It is pretty nasty in the Pacific Northwest. Heavy uh, rain, also some mountain snow, very gusty winds. We could see gusts up to about 65 miles per hour. That storm will start to move into the Midwest as we get to the middle of the week as another storm makes its way into the Pacific Northwest. It's dry Wednesday up and down the East Coast, but then by the end of the week, we'll see a spotty shower or two and then even a wintry mix across parts of the upper Midwest. Let's look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek. Oh, yes. All right, Dylan, thank you very much. We'll see you in a bit. Next on Sunday today, Tom Brokaw is here, here on NBC. Wow, and uh, it's a big week for Major League Baseball fans. The Cy Young and MVP awards will be handed out Wednesday and Thursday. For all your picks on those awards. <laughs> I'm a Yankee fan, so I want Aaron Judge to win. I of think course. Altuve will win, and he deserves it. He's great. We've got some nasty weather in parts of this country where our folks are trying to get a jump on Thanksgiving travel. I know, and if you are traveling, it is the middle of the country that's going to see the trouble spots today. But uh, take a look at what we saw in Colorado. Colorado, where we did have uh, some snow falling in uh, parts of southeast weather. Well, we've got the storm in the Midwest, but as we get closer to Thanksgiving, we're actually going to see uh, some improvements as for travel weather, especially through the middle of the country. But let's start on Tuesday in the Northwest, where we do have the uh, potential of another strong storm making its way on shore. So if you're flying out of Seattle or Portland, you could run into some delays, even over in the Boise and San Francisco, too, could see some of those delays as well. If you're traveling along the roads, uh, mountain passes will be tricky because of the mountain snow, but the heavy rain and the gusty winds uh, will make things uh, very difficult on the roads as well. If you're traveling on Wednesday, still unsettled in the northwest, but ideal through most of the country. There will be some rain down through uh, Florida and also a little bit of an icy mix, especially across northern New England. Uh, that will make the roads a little bit slippery. And then on Thanksgiving itself, still beautiful across the majority of the country. More wintry weather in the northwest, especially in the mountains, and we will see some storms down across Florida as well. Let's look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. We're back on a Saturday morning with our month-long series, No Shave Today. This is good. This is a time to focus on men's health issues. So I've been growing this thing out. <laughs> it takes it's, a lot of work for you. This huh? is the most facial hair I've had actually in my entire life. Really? You've got uh, like little, like red, or are those gray? Those are grace. Okay. Those are grace. Thanks, Dylan. With makeup on it. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So in addition to No Shave November, we grow out the facial hair to raise awareness about cancer because so many cancer patients lose their hair. We also wanted to talk about an important issue that men sometimes don't want to talk about, and that is getting a prostate exam. The simple fact is that getting checked could very well save your life. So what did Craig, Matt, Al, and Carson do to raise awareness? Check it out. Get that the was check. Absolutely. I loved fantastic. it. Our apologies to the tour groups that were in 30 Rockefeller uh, <laughs> that hopped out of the elevator and, and saw the saw four that. Of us. Oh, that was in the building. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's rude. So. really, really time well spent. Thank you. Get right. the check. Still to come on today, Country Star.